Yeah, people say a lot, but you know, everything happens so fast, there isn't too much you can say because everybody was helping everybody out. My name is Leo A. Proto, and I was born in 1921, so I was 20 years old when the attack started. Aboard the USS Maryland, the battleship, VV-46. Now the Oklahoma was tied out board of us. Now there's a guy here from the Oklahoma. Because he just said how that all the buoys were open, that's why they did they had admiral's inspection. Now the theta came in Saturday. All the personnel of all the battleships and ships in the harbor were having personnel inspections. So they were all topside. Now my gun station, or general quarter station, was in a 16-inch gun, turret number three. Well, evidently they didn't, they can't fire the guns there, so they put us in different stations. Davy was helping them load, you know, pass ammunition throughout the ship. See, and then that was about it. See, but they came in on Sunday, and the reason the Oklahoma turned over so fast was all their buoys were open. See, they were going to have inspection on Monday. So all their buoys was open. So as soon as them torpedoes hit, all the apartments in the water flooded. She went over in about 20 minutes. We had to cut the mooring lines to let her go. They have pulled us over with them. They, see, each ship has their own uh, general quarter station, and mine was in number three turret. But they sure they couldn't fire the 16-inch gun, so they passed you off to help everybody else. See, you know, we fed them. We put food in milk cans. See, the yardboard workers, they were there just about 20 minutes, weren't they? And they burnt holes in the hull, and the sailors would knock, and then we send them food and water in milk cans. See, they'd send them down to the departments where they were. Yeah. Now, they don't know how long they stayed alive. You know, there was different stories, some 10 Yeah.